Hey guys, what's up? It's Justin here from C4D Tuts, and I just figured I'd do another tutorial since people have been complaining about me not making enough tutorials, and I took that criticism, so I figured, hey, I'll make another tutorial today. Um, I haven't really had that much time. I've been semi-busy making intros for customers, and school, of course, has been keeping me really busy coming into my final stretch of school until college, of course. Um, so yeah, that's kept me pretty busy, and I just got Cinema 4D R12, so I figured I'd get used to it before I started making tutorials, um, just getting used to all, all the new stuff. It is a little bit laggy, and it does make this render screen look a little bit weird sometimes, so uh, just bear with me. So um, today this tutorial will be on this abstract blob form sort of thing. So that's sort of the uh, animation that's going to happen is going to basically just turn into that blob form. Looks like a spit off the top of a tower or whatever people's comments said. Some guy said it looked like a his poop or something like that. But anyways, so this is just a basic uh, thing right here. Um, just figured I'd show you the animation really quick. Um, it's pretty basic, not too hard of a tutorial. So let's start out. Alright, first off, you're going to start out making a sphere. Um, I'll just set the radius to 10. That's just to make it smaller, um, obviously. That was pretty obvious, so sorry. Um, yeah, so just make a sphere. doesn't matter what color it is. doesn't matter any of that crap. Uh, next, go to MoGraph and Cloner, and then drag the sphere onto the cloner, which clones it. Um, and change the mode to grid array so that they're in a grid format and change the count to 5, 5, and 5 so then you'll have whatever 5 times 5 times 5 is that many spheres alright so after you got these spheres spheres my bad um, just throw a, dy or throw a dynamic tag onto the sphere wherever it is dynamics body for cinema 40 11.5 I think it's like MoGraph body or something like that. Um, so yeah, just throw one of those on there. And then, let's see, what next? I'm kind of just doing this off the top of my head, guys, so sorry about that. Um, and I'm just brain dead because I just got back from school. But anyways, um, next you will have to insert MetaBall, which is in the like array tab, this tab right here. You insert MetaBall and then drag the cloner object onto MetaBall. Um, that makes it into this sort of blob format. You're already getting the uh, the blob form up here. It kind of just falls right now, but it's a gross looking ball of whatever your imagination can think of. Um, so for the meta ball settings, um, change the whole value to to 70. Oh, fuck, hold on one second, guys. Sorry about that. My cat just came into my room. Um, sorry. Um, so change the whole value to 270. Change the editor subdivision to 10, I believe. Yeah, that should work. And the render subdivision to 6. Let's see. Yeah, so just 270 or so. Doesn't really matter for now. Um, let's see. Um, yeah, so after that, it's still, well, it was looking like a blob, but now it's not. Now it's just like these water droplets or whatever you want to call them. Um, so next what you're going to do is go to effector, random. Um, yeah, so on the random effector, it's just, um, you just throw that in there. Um, I think you just keep all the settings the same. That should work. And then you go to, where is it, Attractor. Yes, go to Attractor. Um, what you're going to do with the Attractor settings, you're going to put the strength at 10,000, four zeros, 10,000. And you're going to change the speed limit to 50. So you're basically just like reversing the two. Um, so now it should, oh, look at that, blob forming right there. It's still kind of sloppy though, so we'll change some of that but right there you have a basic blob format if it'll render alright yeah so 
there's the basic blob form right there. Um, let's see, what are we gonna do after that? All right. Um, let's see here. All right. Um, don't do anything I just did. I was just messing with something. Um, so after that, you're going to put the cloner, or you're gonna click on cloner and then add a tag to it. What tag is it? The uh, MoGraph cache. Yeah, put MoGraph cache on there. Um, and what this does, it basically just makes the object a little bit smoother, like the animation a little bit smoother. So after you put that tag on there, click bake, and then it'll do this crap really quick. It takes like 10 seconds. And that'll just make the animation look a bit smoother. After you bake it, this will turn green. Yeah, so that gives you a little bit more options for changing it. And then you have your basic thing. See, this is what I was talking about with R12. It's really laggy. But, um, yeah, that's just a basic uh, thing right now. I can't really show you anything because R12 is lagging really bad, and I can't really do anything. But that's the uh, basic tutorial, guys. I hope that helped because a few people asked how I did the thing. And then after that, you just you know add a background, add lights, add floor, whatever you want to do. You can add the rest. I'm sure you guys know how to do that. That's semi-simple stuff. So after that, you just change what you want with it. And that keep in mind, these are just my... Um, my settings for creating the meta ball or creating the whatever blob effect you'd like to call it so that's just my settings so you can of course change it according to your whatever your views so um hope that helped everybody thanks for watching thumbs up favorite comment uh request whatever the next tutorial you want and keep in mind i will be doing a some sort of competition this weekend you can also put an in input on what you want the competition to be like so hope that helped everybody. Peace.